Simon here from Simon Says Cycling. Let's talk about preparing for a great 2019. Some of the things you can do to ensure you have an incredible year of cycling, of fun, of the personal improvements, of potentially breakout races. Some of the things you can do are, number one, write down specific clear goals that are going to hold you accountable. And when you write down those goals, have specific goals you can measure, as well as goals on how you want to show up, how you want to experience those events. For example, you may have a power improvement goal, you may have a specific goal related to a race, like a top 10 in a certain race, or a podium, or a victory. Those are specific goals. But it's also important to write down some goals on how you want to experience your cycling. How do you want to show up? It could be a goal of, I want to feel alive, I want to make the most out of every training session, I want to enjoy my training, my racing without feeling of stress, without fear, without worry. I want to go there to celebrate my fitness, to celebrate my teammates, to celebrate the fact that I'm able to compete. So write down also some specific goals on how you want to feel, how you want to show up, as well as those that you can measure, the race results, the personal improvements, power gains, speed gains, beating your personal record up a climb, for example. Those are just some of the things you can do to help you stay more laser focused during the year. For me, the number one thing to help you stay focused during the year is to select every quarter an event that frightens you a little bit, that excites you, that you know you're going to have to be on your A game for. If you commit to an event every quarter, for example, a specific race, a longer event, something you know that's going to be a real challenge, that's going to get you more focused, that's going to get you training harder with more purpose, knowing that that's ahead of you. You may want to enter that already, you may want to commit already so that you have that hanging over you but in a positive way, something that's going to push you to get up early in the morning when you don't feel like training, something that's going to push you through those VO2 intervals when they hurt really bad, but then you remember, wait a minute, I have a race coming, I need to complete this session, I need to get the most out of my body so that I have the best form possible to compete in this race. I know for me as a former professional cyclist, it was easy to stay focused when you had a goal inside a specific event. When you don't race as much anymore, that's when it becomes easy to just go through the emotions. When you don't have these specific races coming up, that's one of the main things you can do to really ensure that you stay focused throughout the year is to select a goal race or event every quarter, for example, if that works with your racing season. That's going to get you excited and a little scared and more than anything motivated to stay focused and on track. Obviously, a cycling coach can help you develop a plan, develop a strategy, help you on the mental side and prepare. That's what we do here at Simon Says Cycling. So if you're looking for more one-on-one -on -one coaching, Check out my coaching levels, my different packages, as well as my $49 a month coaching group where you can join a global community. And many of our clients are enjoying incredible results, racing at a very high level on our starter package, on our $49 a month package. So check that out and we'd love for you to join our global community. Go out there, have fun, be the best you can be and celebrate the bicycle. It's an incredible way to express your determination, to express your fitness, to express your physical and mental capabilities. So realize what a gift you have and go out there and make the most of it.